Hi everybody, Jeff Kelly, Chief Instructor at the Sheelan Martial Arts Center in Corvallis, Oregon. Today we're going to show you some Qigong exercises from the Taoist longevity tradition. These are self-massage exercises that you can do first thing in the morning to help get you ready for your day, to uh, re revitalize yourself when you're tired, and generally bring about a feeling of well-being. Things to keep in mind are to keep your tongue touching the roof of your mouth throughout, uh, we're going to be using the palms to generate friction. Uh, generally speaking, the men should use their left palm to massage, and women, you're going to use your right palm. Uh, each time, we're generally going to do about 36 repetitions, although some will be different. And you want to try to create a, a good amount of friction here to bring warmth to the area and stimulate the flow of blood and chi. All right, so we're going to start at the top of the head, the highest point, a uh, point called Bai Hui, or 100 meetings. Right, using the palm of your hand, you're just going to place it right here on top of that and massage it 36 times. Now I won't do 36 on each one just to save time. All right, and we're going to move down to the forehead. This time again with the palm, I'm going to go back and forth 36 times. Next move to the face. Generally, I like to warm up my hands again. Now you can do this before uh, you begin or any time during. Uh, never wrong. All right, then I'm going to basically wash my face with the palms, going backwards like this. Again, about 36 times. This time for the eyes, using the pads of your middle finger, you're going to lightly press them against your eyes, with your eyes closed, of course, and stroke outward like this very gently. Now, you don't want to do it so hard as to see stars, but just kind of briskly massage outward. All right, next we're going to go with the nose. Now, using the back uh, of the thumb knuckle, we're going to massage up the side of the nose here, like so. At about 36 times. This is excellent to help uh, clear the nasal patches, passages anytime they're obstructed, uh, whether it's just from daily life or if you have a cold or something. Um, it's a great way to open those up. Moving downward, this one's kind of esoteric. We're going to click the teeth or bite quickly uh, 36 times. Now, you won't be able to see this, but uh, this is what it looks like. All right. There's a lot of benefit to this. This is also used in uh, Taoist practice and has been used for thousands of years. All right, moving down, we're going to go underneath the chin with the back of the hand this time. You're going to go underneath the chin and rub back and forth around 36 times. All right, next we're moving back to the ears. We're going to Use uh, the side of the index finger and the thumb to pinch downward, pinch and pull downward from the top of the ear down to the earlobe and then pull on that. Okay, like so. And we do both hands at the same time. Now, generally, I do this just 13 times because it takes a little longer and I'm lazy, but you can do it 36 times if you'd like. All right, next we're going to go to the ear. Now, using the palms of the hand, we're going to create a little bit of space here. We're going to press in to the ear uh, and remove that space, creating a vacuum. And then you want to pull it away quickly, and you sure should hear a popping in the ear. Uh, you can either move the hands completely, or you can rest the fingers on the back of your head and just kind of move the palms like this. So this is great if you have sudden deafness or uh, beginnings of tinnitus. All right, the last one is called beating the heavenly drum. And this, again, is a technique that's been used for thousands of years. What I'm going to do is place my hands against the back of my head, and I'm going to snap uh, my index finger off the middle finger here to make contact. I'm going to turn around for this. So I'm placing it here right along this ridge of the skull. I'm going to cover my ear. And then I'm going to snap. I'm going to snap this against the back of my head like that, beating the heavenly drum. Okay, so the first sequence is just about the head. We'll do some other videos that will cover the rest of the body. But these are a great exercises that can be done anytime. They don't have to be done just in the morning. You can take uh, parts out of it. As I said, for congestion, uh, you can use the uh, rubbing the nose. If you get tired during the day, you can wash your face, if your eyes are particularly tired, you can brush them, and so on. All right, so I hope you've enjoyed this little uh, 
a Qigong exercise. Uh, my name is Jeff Kelly, uh, Chief Instructor of Sheelan Martial Arts Center in Corvallis, Oregon. And we hope to see you next time.